Good afternoon, Girl Scouts. My name is Shannon, and I work in the marketing department here for Girl Scouts of Spirit of Nebraska. And I don't appear to be showing up. Oh, there we go. Hi, I'm Shannon. I work in the marketing department here at Spirit of Nebraska, and I hope all of you Girl Scouts are healthy and staying active. We're thinking about you and we miss you every day. We can't wait until we get to see you. But we're so glad that you've been joining us for some of these great virtual activities. Um, it's really, a, really a fun way to connect with you and keep keep up with Girl Scouts and all the great things that we offer and that you can do to keep your journey going. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Girl Scouts. Um, <laughs> today, we're going to be talking about the new Juliet Gazette magazine. As part of our Girl Scouts at Home programming. Uh, things like communicating, reading, connecting with other Girl Scouts, and writing, those all fall under the life skills pillar of Girl, the Girl Scout leadership experience. So that's kind of what we're talking about today. And did you know, did you even know that we had a magazine that's all about Girl Scouts in Nebraska? Surprise, we do. It's called the Juliet Gazette. And today I'm going to show you where to find the magazine walk you through the new issue so you can see what kind of content is in the magazine. And then I'm going to tell you how you can write for the magazine and earn yourself a special You're in the News patch. So that's what we've got going on today. Um, first off, let me tell you a little bit about the magazine. It is all about you. It is a magazine that's all stories about Girl Scouts and the amazing things they do. You do. Uh, many of the true stories are written by Girl Scouts and it's packed with tons and tons of photos about girls and of girls and their troops and the things that they do. So how do you find this fabulous magazine? You want to read it now that I've been telling you how great it is, right? Of course you do. So because Girl Scouts are all about using resources wisely, our magazine is currently available online only. That means you need to go to our website to find the magazine. So one of the things I'm gonna to do today is show you where that magazine is located on our website. There's two different ways to find it, one right now and then one that you'll need to use later um, as time goes on if you wanna reference the magazine. The other thing you can do is you can download and print out the magazine, which is what I do. I was going to show you this until I found a, a way that I can show you the flipping book on my computer. But this is what I do for my daughter. I print it out because she likes to look at it. She likes to be able to go back and flip through and see the photos and study them. So this is what you can do at home. You can just download it as a PDF and print it out. There's also an option to order the magazine. So if you've got family in there that um, or if, you're, if your daughter or you wrote a story and you want to get an official copy, you can order that. That's a little expensive, but it's an option if you want. Uh, we also send a copy of your story. If you write for us, we send you a printed copy of your story along with your special patch. So but we're going to talk about that later, the special patch. That's later. Um, we are going to... Uh, first, we're going to I'm going to I'm going to show you how to find the magazine on the website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and show you my screen because I think that's going to be the easiest way to help you find the magazine. So bear with me. The first thing you'll want to do is go to our websites, girl our website, girlscoutsnebraska.org. Now hopefully you know that already. If you don't, again it's girlscoutsnebraska.org. And I'm going to put all these links for you to the magazine, to the publication page, to where you can send everything. I'm going to put all those in the comments after we get done hanging out today. So just be patient. All that will be there for you afterward. But for now, I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to flip the, the screen around and show you my computer so we can find the magazine together. Now... So what you're going to do is when you get to our homepage, you're going to see a series of photos, big photos here. The first one is Girl Scouts, this at Girl Scouts at Home, and that's part of what we're doing right now. These are called our homepage hero images. So if you go over to this little arrow right here, you can click on it 
and it takes you to the next one. The next one is early bird. So um, here's a chance for me to tell you, be sure you're early bird, get registered. And there is the Juliet Gazette magazine. It's the third one right now. So then you just click on it and it opens up our magazine. Now the magazine is included in this very cool feature called issue. And it allows you to just flip right through the magazine, just like it's a regular magazine. You can read it on your phone, um, but it really works better on a laptop or a tablet just because it's easier to read. Now, the magazine isn't always going to be in our homepage hero because other things are going to come along that we want to promote. So once, so you can always, always find our magazine on the publication page. So what you'll do is you're going to, I don't know if you can see my little cursor right there. Here you are. You're just going to scroll down to the bottom of any page on our website, any single page. And down here in the green bar, there is a little tab that says publications. So you're going to click on that and that is going to open up our publications page. You can find all kinds of cool stuff on here, um, including, you know, the program book, the summer guide, community collaborators. And look, there's the Juliet Gazette magazine. In fact, you can see the last three issues right here. Um, so if you want to go back, if you missed one, you want to go back or you see, oh, hey, I know that girl. I want to read about her. You can do that. Um, here's where you would go to order the printed copy that I mentioned earlier. That's a little expensive, but again, it's an option. Otherwise, you just click right on. You can click on the magazine cover or on the name of it and voila, there's our magazine. So hopefully my hands are not too shaky because I want to hold this up and flip through it with you and just give you a quick snapshot of what you'll find in the magazine. So this is the winter 2020 issue. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, uh, Shannon, it's not winter anymore. Well, we called it the winter 2020 issue because it was supposed to be published in January. Now we got slowed down by the cookie season and then the coronavirus. And so we may have missed a few deadlines and now it's coming out now but it's still filled with great content and I wanna make sure you guys know all about it. So right here on the front page, you can see these are the girls that won the 2019, <clears throat> excuse me, Nebraska Cookie Superhero Contest. Um, I don't know if you remember that we had, there was the National Cookie Pro Contest and then there was the Girl Scouts um, Superhero Contest. So. If you flip into the next page, you can read more about those girls and how they won and who they are and where they're from on this page. Then when you get to this page over here, we have stories that were written by girls. Here's a story about a girl. These are both girls doing good things for their communities. Up here, this girl and her troop built a free little library. Down here, this young woman, whoops, there's my finger. She makes hats for cancer patients. And you can read all their stories right there and just learn about the amazing. You may even get inspired for your own take action project over here. This is one of my favorite stories in this issue. Mia won the national cookie pro contest last year. She was one of 24 winners and she got to go to California and tour behind the scenes and do just all kinds of amazing things. So she's written about her story here and I would definitely take a look at that. It's really fun. Over here, we have a girl written story about a young lady in Lincoln, a young Girl Scout in Lincoln who collects cookies for police officers and delivers them to, to the precincts. She, last year, she collected one box for every officer in Lincoln. So cool. And firefighters, I believe. Down here, we have a young group of, of girls who, um, these are older girls, ambassadors, and they did a take action project for Camp Katrin. So you want to check that out especially if you are a frequenter of Camp Katrin. We love Camp Katrin. Here, next, are our Gold Award girls from 2019. There were 20 girls last year that earned their Gold Award, and you can read about each of them and their projects. And then there were four girls that won very special scholarships. We'd love you to check those out. Here are 2019's Honor Troops. They're all listed right here. There's a gallery, a photo gallery on our website that you can check out too if you'd like to. I believe there is a link right there. You can just click that link and boom, you go right to the photo gallery. Next, we have our volunteer award winners. 
from 2019, followed by the 500 and 1000 Club girls from 2019. Now, if you're if you're wondering, those are the ones from last year. The new, those who've earned their gold award this year in 2020 or are in the 500,000 club for 2020 and the volunteer awards for 2020, those will all be in the next issue. So just to let you know. Now we have a special feature called Making the World a Better Place. And this section and the next section, out and about, are just filled with photos of Girl Scouts and the things they do. Whether they're doing bridging ceremonies, boating, service projects, uh, going to the zoo, going on a special trip, using the zip line. Here's where their leaders have sent in photos telling us about great things that these girls are all doing. And then finally on this back page here, we have three older girls who went on GSU, Girl Scouts of the USA destination trips to other countries. They learned scuba diving and saved baby sea turtles, hung out with llamas in Peru, and you can read their stories there. And in addition, there's, there's longer versions of their stories on our blog. If you're really interested, you can go and check those out. But here they give you a little snapshot of these amazing trips they went on. Then on our back cover, we introduce you to Camp Catron's new adventure challenge adventure course and this is an amazing adventure course it just opened last fall um, right now it's not open because of the virus but be sure to check it out read about it and get yourself reservations so that you can go and hang out there and challenge yourself because it is amazing so that's a quick summary of the current issue you can jump in there and read all about all the different things girls do and and just see if you're in there maybe your troop leader sent in a photo of your troop or maybe one of you one of the stories that we looked at was written by a girl in your troop so now that we have gone through the magazine you're probably thinking i want to be in the magazine how do i get in the magazine shannon well you have two options the best way, my favorite way, would be for you to write a story about what you're doing, what you or your troop are doing, whether you're going camping or you've got a special trip planned or, well, right now there's not a lot going on because we're doing a lot of Girl Scout at home stuff. But before this, maybe you went on a great camping trip or you went on, you went to Kansas City, you went to Savannah, maybe you used your cookie proceeds to do something amazing for people in need or donated them to first responders. Maybe you have a favorite badge work that you did, or you guys worked on a journey and did a cool take action project or earned your silver award or your bronze award. We wanna hear about all those things. And they don't have to be serious things either. Maybe you and your troop just tried to build robots and for your robot badge and it didn't go so well. That's a big part of Girl Scouts too. Trying things, doesn't work out, you try again. Maybe you have some fun photos from, from that, that activity. You can send us all that stuff. You can write about any of those things. Now, when you write your, when you write your story, you send that along with photos, lots and lots of photos, to us. And there's two ways you can send it in. You can email it to marketing at girlscoutsnebraska.org. And again, I will post these links after we're all done here so that you can get them easily. There's also a quick little form that you can fill out and then you just fill in your name and your troop number and you upload your photos and your story. Super easy. You can use that too. Whichever is easier for you and your mom if you need a little help. Sometimes um, daisies want to write a story, but maybe they're not real familiar with technology or so their moms may give them a little hand. We print every girl written story in our magazine so no matter what you write about no matter how long it is now if it's super long i might have to edit it down a little bit but we really try not to do that we want to hear from you and what you're doing and if you write your story and you send it in we will print it and we will send you our very fun um well it's backwards but it says <laughs> you made the news patch now this patch was designed by a girl scout so that makes it even more fun. I love patches designed by Girl Scouts. 
and you get one of these. You can put it on your vet, on the back of your vest or your sash because it is a patch, not a badge, but it's a really fun one and it's pretty exclusive. You have to get either um, up here on the TV news with me or write for the JG to get one of these. So keep that in mind. Um, and again, I'll post the links where you can send in your story. Now, if you if writing's not your thing, not everybody loves to write. I do, but not everybody does. You can also ask your troop leader to send in a photograph. That's where all those photos were in the making the world a better place section and the out and about section. You can ask her to send in a photo and an explanation of what your troop was doing. Maybe you um, did the... Uh, in, like an engineering badge and build big towers and have some great photos of it. Or you maybe even did a cooking badge and a cupcake contest. Have her send those in or him if your goal, if your leader's a he. I didn't mean to, to be, a, <laughs> I didn't mean to imply only women or Girl Scout leaders. Have your volunteer send in that photo and they would send it to the same places that you would send your story. So I'll, those links will be in the comments as well. Now you won't get a patch for that, but You'll be in the magazine, and that's pretty cool. You can show your mom and your grandma and your friends and your grandpa and everybody, and you can post it on your social media pages if you have them. You can print down, download and print a PDF, as I mentioned, so you have a printed copy for your scrapbook. Just, It's really exciting to be in the magazine and to look through and see if you're in there or if anybody you know is in there because maybe you've gone to a a campery or a, or a overnight camp and you met some new friends and you're flipping through the magazine and lo and behold there's Lola from the troop that from Lincoln that you met at your special event it's very cool so that's our magazine that's your magazine Juliet Gazette your magazine all about all four and mostly by Girl Scouts in Nebraska so I hope so that okay so that's our magazine I hope I hope to hear I hope to see her from you soon and I'm a little nervous can you tell I'm a little nervous uh, I don't do a lot of public speaking but I hope that you learned a little bit today about our cool magazine and I hope you're excited to do some writing and send us your story and earn your patch or get your photo in the magazine and I want to thank you for joining me today and learning about the girls to the Juliet Gazette tell your leader about it Tell your friends about it. Share it all over so everyone knows about it. And be sure to keep checking our website for new um, Girl Scouts at Home program because there's always new stuff coming up. Um, we have, you know, the STEM programs, conservation programs. Tomorrow we have Finance Your Dreams at 10 a.m. And that will be about careers that will help you achieve your dreams. And then saddle maintenance. For, so for those of you who are loving all our horse lessons, B and Cat are going to show you all the different parts of a saddle and how to take care of your saddle. Well, even if you don't have one, you'll know how to take care of a saddle in case you one day get that pony you're always dreaming about getting, right? And, of course, our camporee starts tomorrow at 5 p.m., our virtual camporee. And there's still time to register, so really don't miss out on this. There's more than 400 girls already registered to participate so join those girls and get ready to um you know cook out and camp out and sing songs and make s'mores and do all kinds of things we're, we're super excited about this program it's one of our one of our premier biggest pro virtual programs we've tried yet and we really want you to be part of it so remember that we miss you we hope you're being safe stay healthy Wash your hands, wear your masks, do your social distancing, and be sure to stick with us on online. And uh, we hope to see you very, very soon. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you soon.